Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Huffrey Speaks. I'm about to go get it in today with Manifest Destiny by Dramericquire. This is the first time, first time reaction, first time listen. Track was recommended to me by Mr. Billy Boyrag Rogue. Okay, Rage. Mr. Billy. Okay, so I did a reaction to Tupac. Um, what was the song called? Who Do You Believe In? And he said some of the sample was taken from this track here, and it was really great. And if you go back to that video, you can check out his comment. Or perhaps I'll leave a link in the description so you can go check that video out with the description that he gave. Very detailed, amazing insight. And yo, we're about to jump in. But guys, before I do that, before I forget, make sure you do hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Give this video a like, give it a share. Okay, help support the channel. All right, let's jump in. With Jamera Choir, Manifest Destiny. First time listen, first time reaction. Wow, there is definitely that sample taken from Who Do You Believe In in here. <laughs> yeah, I like that. This is, whoa, this is pretty much identical to the actual, wow, I'm definitely leaving a link in the description to that reaction I made, Who Do You Believe In by Tupac, that is, oh, oh, yeah, I, I like this. <laughs> You can hear that. Cha, 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 cha. Okay. You can hear this song. Picture yourself on a beachfront or a uh, you know upscale five-star restaurant, and this guy's just performing in front of you with his with his live musician with the musicians there live with the instruments. Can you picture that? Can you picture that? What do you see? Satisfy the souls of chosen men. See, I had to look carefully at the shame of my ancestry to redefine the story. We're gonna go back. This song, this song is definitely taking me on a journey. You know what I'm saying? So we start somewhere, we're gonna see where we end up. This yo, big up for this reaction. Suggestion, sorry, so I could do this reaction. Woo! Satisfy the souls of chosen men. See, I had to look carefully at the shame of my ancestry to redefine the storyline again. Hey, if I was taken for a day and shown another way, now every child can learn a different way. See, I've tried a million times, but I had to change my mind. You see how that transitioned as well? I know I talk a lot about the transitions in the song, but there's not many that do it. You'll notice, especially, uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe the good songs do it, but the, the, <laughs> the bad songs, I don't hear them making that transition. And if they do that transition, 
it's a big, big risk. Why? Because you're accustomed to a sound you heard before, right? Bum, 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 bum. Right, and then all of a sudden, he switched up the beat, changed it, changed the sound, and that was that was cool. That was smooth how he did it because, like I said, if you ever notice a song, if they do, ever do make a switch like that, it's 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 a hard thing to get right because sometimes they they can mess up. I'm not gonna name and shame songs that have. Try to, you know, that have done that and failed. Well, that again, that's just my opinion. Um, but you know, again, it's very hard thing to do and pull off successfully, <laughs> and still keep the listener engaged without throwing them off. You know what I'm saying? I was waiting for it to come back. I was waiting for it to come back. You see how we just brought it back in? How can you be alive when you're dead? He's playing. I mean, yeah, it's a lyric I'm saying there. But if you catch the obscurity that he said before that, and he, he did use the word obscurity, he brings that back in. How can you be alive when you're dead? How can you be alive when you're dead, when you're alive but you're already dead inside? I think that's what he's referring to. I'd rather go slavery It's just an absurdity With these chains of hypocrisy, the shame of my ancestry, forever stained by blood and wet you tread. Yeah, if I was taken by day, and turned another way, oh now every child can learn that from them. See, I tried a million times, but I had to change my mind. So it looks like there's two there's two sort of beats going on. You got that upbeat one and you got that one I like. 
dong, 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 on the bass going. Now we're going into like a combination of the two. Seems like that anyway. And I just thought it was about to end, but carries on. <laughs> Can you imagine there, you're just chilling out with your wine, cigar, you're relaxing. I'm not condoning those... Um, those items you should do that i mean you may not drink you may not smoke i i'm not here to tell you what i do or what i've done in the past or what i'm doing in the future but where are you right now what can you envision And guys, I, if I wasn't able to catch all the lyrics, that's because I don't have a lyric sheet in front of me. This is a first time listen. I try not to make sure, even with my two-pack reactions, I do not have anything in front of me. No lyrics, no nothing. All right. So I know Billy was suggesting, you know, the lyrics here are very similar to what the message two-pack was saying in his song. And I appreciate that. I respect that. But yo, first time listen, I'm captivated. He has me. He has me. The song has me. Right, that's what you want for a first time listen. Does it take you? It took me, it's taking me somewhere. Now, you know, when you go back and you play it again or you want to go and check the lyrics, that's something up to the listener's prerogative to do, right? But right now, yo, for a first time listen, this is pretty dope. This is pretty dope, man. <laughs> Okay, guys, that was Jamera Choir, Manifest, Manifest Destiny. Thank you so much for that recommendation. Guys, go check out the original song. Go support the artist. And even though that song's fairly old, when it was released, we're in 2020. It has more relevance than today than it did then. <laughs> I'll put a link in the description for Tupac, Who Do You Believe In? That sampled... That beat I like. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to start going into sort of uh, playing instruments with my uh, mouth or beatboxing, okay? But it's there. And it's amazing how music is interrelated. You know what I'm saying? That sampled over here and that hip hop genre, and then that hip hop genre loved that song, right? Liked it. And then, but now, because of that reaction, I got introduced to where this originally came from, which I had no idea about. Amazing. Okay, guys, make sure you're staying safe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.